how an unseen footprint or latent print, one that can't be seen with the naked eye, can be found. Regarding the case of Brian Koberger, the December 29, 2022 affidavit states, investigators found a latent shoe print as they were processing the crime scene. The forensics team first used a presumptive blood test and then used a dye called Amido Black. Amido Black was first discovered in 1891 and is a dye that stains a protein component of blood, bluish black. The dye reacts with proteins found in blood, but is not blood specific. It makes the shoe print that's not visible, visible. It's applied by either using a spray bottle or by dipping the evidence, and it will develop in three to five minutes. When a protein such as blood is detected, it results in a dark blue to black staining of that protein. The amido black enhances the contrast and visibility of patterns, such as a tread pattern of a tire or the sole of a shoe that may be left behind at the scene. A preserved impression will be done of the latent print, whether it's casting, photography, or lifting for further examination. For now, the evidence is being processed and the case is being built against Brian Koberger, and in time, all of the evidence will be revealed. Which reminds me of the low card exchange principle, named after the father of forensics, Dr. Edmund Locard. This principle states, when any two objects come into contact, there is always a transfer from one object to the other. To quote Locard, he says, wherever he steps, whatever he touches, whatever he leaves, even unconsciously, will serve as a silent witness against him.